Thank you, dear friends. I am here today for a multiplicity of reasons. But let me just make this note. I'm not here because I'm a Democrat. This is not about being a Democrat. It's about our democracy. It's not about being a Republican. It's about our republic. And I love my country. And I believe that in this country, in times such as these, with a crisis such as this, we should all become one. We should be on one accord. We should have one purpose. And that one purpose is to bring Austin Tice home. That should be our purpose. He belongs to us. He's one of ours. We can't turn our backs on him. We have a duty, responsibility, and an obligation as members of Congress to do everything that we can to show every other American that when you're being held hostage, your people back home will have your back and we will bring you back. Bring him home. Those who know me know that I do not have children. That's one of my great regrets in life. If I could live my life over, it is the one thing, Ms. Tice, that I would change. I would have children. And if I could, I would want my son to be a person who would become an Eagle Scout. I would want my son to serve in the Marines, to serve his country. I would want my son to be courageous enough to go to distant places and dark corners and to to want to help people that would never be available for him to meet and greet personally. I would want him to say, yes, I'm willing to risk my life so that others may know what's happening in the lives of people in these distant places. I would want a son like Austin Tice, Eagle Scout, served in the Marines, gone to distant places, made a difference in the lives of others. I would want a son who puts others ahead of himself. We are blessed for one reason, my dear friends, that we may be a blessing to others. I have been blessed. It is now time for me to be a blessing to someone else. That someone today is Austin Tice an honorable person who has given of himself and now finds himself in harm's way. Finally this, we know, we know, no, 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 this is, this is me, this is my <laughs> We know, we know that he's still alive. He is still alive. We know that he is being held hostage someplace in an area in and around Syria, perhaps Damascus. We're not sure, but we know that he's being held. And with this level of intelligence, our government should send a minister plenipotentiary, someone who has the weight of the government with him or her, someone who can speak in Syria to the president who's still there, regardless as to how we feel about his government, what he has done, and he, he has not done things that I would approve of. But we should send a minister plenipotentiary into Syria to speak to the government and say to the government, it's time for us to work to release Austin. We come with this as an envoy from the President of the United States. It's time. Austin, he's not about the war. That's, that wasn't why he was there. So holding him because of some other thing that was going on is unacceptable. I believe that we can do this if we would but only have the courage to step forward and not allow the lines that divide countries and people to prevent us from stepping across into the land of opportunity 
so that we can bring Austin Tice home. He belongs to us. We want him back. Let's bring him home. Thank you.